This video is about such a feature in Adobe Animate as a guide line. Traditionally, a guide is used as a directional path to remove an object in a frame, so that the object does not move in a straight line from one point to another, but along a beautiful plastic trajectory. This was especially true for symbols with a nested animation. In addition to move animated objects, I also used a guide to animate long and flexible objects. For example, such as the tracks of these flying elephants. This is how the symbol attached to the guide line look like. I animate the line using a twin shape, and the symbols attached to the line move behind the line itself. According to the same principle, the trunks of these flying elephants are made. And alternately, increasing and decreasing the symbols that make up the trunks, I create an animation of sucking nectar from flowers. The animation of lace fluttering of the edge of this lady's shirt was done in the same way. Here is a symbol attached to the guide and moves after it. Animation of this rope is also made. The symbol is made not one, but two, to make the turns of the rope not monotonous. Now, for example, let's make a swaying lace. Draw a circle using the oval tool. I turned off the fill and draw only the outline of the circle. With the help of the width tool, I will make a thickening. I convert the outline to a fill. I have a hotkey assigned to the action, it's not the by default. If you are interested, I will record a video on how to assign hotkey. Holding the old key, I drag the image and reduce it using the scale and rotate objects window. I convert the object to a symbol and hold down the ALT key and drag the object creating duplicates. Then above the layer with the line tool I draw a line. Holding the ALT key I create an additional edit point and bend the line with the selection arrow. Then to the layer with the line I assign the function guide. This can be done in two ways. How is the cursor over the layer name? 
Press the right mouse button and select the appropriate function in the window that appears. A layer with symbols can also be subordinate to a layer with a guide in two ways. Dragging the layers with the cursor up and the layers will obey the guide. Or by double clicking on the colored rectangle in the window that appeared. Select Guide. By default, this is normal. In this same window, you can change the color of the rectangle. This changes the guide layer icon from a hammer to a dotted arc, and the icon of the child layer will move to the right. You can also subdue the layers by double click on the colored rectangle, and in the window that appear select guided. To start animation you need to place each symbol on a separate layer. To do this select the layer with symbols and press the key combination Ctrl Shift D. And all the symbols will be on separate layers and all these layers will be subordinate to the guide. Then I will create new keyframes for all objects. I will select one frame in each layer and press the F6 key. I will reshape the line in a new keyframe and assign a twin shape. And for the symbols, I will assign a classic twin. And, oh miracle, symbols move following the guide. I advise everyone to experiment it with a guide. Maybe we will also have interesting solutions. Links to the video used in this video and the hotkey described by me I will have in the description on the video. Best wishes. I am waiting for your comments with the wishes of your topic for the video.